All right, are you looking for something to do this summer in Niceville with the kids so you don't have to cross the bridge and spend a ton of money in Destin? Well, we got you. Here are the top 10 or a couple of extra things that you can do for free or cheap so that you can get the kids out of the house this summer. We'll go from west to east, or west to east. The number one thing that you'll probably want to check out is the Eglin Armament Museum. This amazing indoor and outdoor facility has most of the fighter planes and bombers that the Air Force used during the 20th century during the Cold War against the Soviet Union. Kids will learn about the planes and the munitions that the museum has on display. Plus, there's plenty of walking, so the small ones will be ready to take a nap, thank God, in the afternoon, and it doesn't cost you a thing to go. You could probably spend the entire day there if you wanted to. And as an added bonus, you don't need base access to go to the museum. Thing number two that you're going to want to check out, Postal Point. It has stunning views of Boggy Bayou, great swimming, and a quiet little beach. It wasn't too crowded this past Memorial Day weekend because you need base access to get there. Again, the facility is free, and it also has a nearby boat, kayak, and canoe launch. Fun fact, the point was named after an Austrian fitness coach who moved to the area in the 1920s. Jogging a little bit to the east, Florida Park is a three and a half ish acre waterfront park here in the city of Valparaiso. It has a full playground set with slides and swings, and it features a small pier. It has pavilions as well and opens at 6.30 in the morning and closes at 8, making it probably one of the parks that is open for the most amount of the day here in the area. Up next on our list is the Northwest Florida Heritage Museum. It has lots of local history from everybody from the Spanish explorers who came in the 16th century to the jet age. It has a fully restored Carmichael buggy, buggy excuse me, that shows how transportation looked more than 100 years ago here in Okaloosa County. It also features a game room and games for kids to check out and a small bookstore at the front of the facility. Admission is a couple of bucks, but if you join the organization for $50, you can go in free for the year. It's open Tuesday through Saturday from 10 a.m. to 4 p.m. Next up is Lincoln Park. Lincoln Park is the largest of Valparaiso's parks, and it has tons of amenities that you can check out. Everything from a beach, multiple beaches, a little pier, and a uh, closed-off swimming area that you can check out and use whenever you feel like it. It has a playset and plenty of swings for the kids. It also features, very importantly, a bathroom that is very well kept up by the city of Valparaiso's maintenance department. And there's a boat launch, which is under construction right now, but will soon be complete. Okay, heading into Niceville, Turkey Creek Park is the most famous of all the parks here in the area. It has a boardwalk, uh, areas to get into Turkey Creek and take a nice cool swim, especially during the hot months. And it's open from 6.30 a.m. until 5 p.m. for walking, swimming, tubing, everything you'd want to do there. It features a garden of memories for children who have passed on as well. And the best thing about this park, even though it has a lot of amenities, is the tree cover. It's between 10 and 15 degrees cooler than it is on the asphalt during the summer. That is a lifesaver, especially for guys like me who hate to sweat. I wanted to keep everything on this list free, but ultimately I couldn't pass up Honeybee. Honeybee is an ice cream store slash arcade that is on the corner of John Sims and 285, right in the heart of Niceville across from the tax collector's office. And it's open from 10 a.m. to 10 p.m every day of the week. They've got dozens of flavors that you can try out and they also sell other treats like boba tea and custom drinks for you to, I guess, drink. You would drink them, right? Anyway, there are more than 30 arcade games for you to play, everything from Tekken to NBA Jam. Uh, a couple of those, you know, like where you hit the thing and it tells you how strong you are. Uh, you name it, it's there and you can play there for hours for, I would say, about $10 and quarters. The name of the Niceville City Complex sounds really boring but it's not. It's amazing. It's filled with things to do, especially for little kids during the summer. First things first, the library has tens of thousands of book on, uh, books on their shelves, but if you ask for a book, they can find it for you and get it in your library loan, so there's no excuse for you to not check out books there. And they have other things, like computers and games and activities for kids. A little note about the library, though, it has some complicated hours, so I'm going to go ahead and put it on one side of me, uh, what those hours are for the days of the week, uh, but just know it varies. 
Also in that complex is the Children's Park, which famously has a splash pad, which opens on Memorial Day weekend. And is an incredible place to hang out and get away from the summer heat. And then the skate park is for kids that are a little bit older, and they require a helmet. If you don't bring one, it's a $2 rental, and it's probably a really dorky one, so just bring your own helmet. Finally, if you go over to the fire department complex there in the big city complex, the fire department is really cool and loves to have kids there in the fire department bays to check out the trucks and talk about fire safety. So if you go over there and knock on the door, they're more than likely going to let you in unless something is actively on fire or somebody is actively having a heart attack somewhere in town. If you want to take a walking art tour, Northwest Florida State College is the place to go. There are plenty of outdoor sculptures for you to see. Plus, the fountain is really beautiful outside, but they also have art galleries on the inside. It's an incredible place to check out and a lot of fun for your little art lovers. One of the activities here in Niceville that I think gets overlooked is plane watching. And plane watching is best at the Rocky Runway Park. That's where all those single engine planes fly in on their descent to land. If you go there and just sit on the grass, look up, they'll come. And you especially want to do it on Saturdays. But the best viewing and the most frequent flying that I see is on Sundays. Sunday afternoons, that's the place to be because you will see these guys flying their patterns and it's just so much fun. If you cross the Rocky Bayou Bridge, you'll see the Fred Gannon Rocky Bayou State Park to your left. If you're coming from Niceville, it has all the amenities that you would expect a state park to have. So boat and kayak launches. They have really extensive walking trails back there, a playground, and they have events that take place pretty regularly. If you check out their website, and I'll put the link to the website down here, you'll see that they have stuff going on all the time. The park is open from 8 a.m. to sundown, 365 days a year. It's a couple of bucks to get in, and typically I would pay with cash. Little fun fact about this place, though, it used to be a World War II era gunnery range and has 300 year old pine trees and, of course, your boat launches, playgrounds, and trails. If your kid loves STEM subjects and thinks with the right side of your brain, you're going to want to check out the SHU Educational Foundation Summer Programs. They're all over the county, but they cover everything from robotics to computers to chemistry, you name it, they got it. So I'll also put a link down here for you to sign your kids up. They're typically, I think, very inexpensive or free and uh, probably worth it knowing the SHU Educational Foundation. So those are my recommendations for things to do with little kids in Niceville so you don't have to cross the bridge into Destin. Of course, if you have things that I should have added but I didn't, you need to put them in the comments and we will update the video as time allows. And finally, if you would, go ahead and like and subscribe our, to our page. We need all the help getting the word out about how awesome Niceville is and you can help us do that just by hitting buttons. Talk to you soon, midbaynews.com.